Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Kokut Island, which is in the eastern province of Trat in Thailand. This entire island is it's spectacular. The, the natural scenery, the beaches. We are staying at Captain Hook Resort, which is, is, is one of the most impressive places that I've stayed. The natural scenery. We have a mini pool villa, which I will show you. Uh, but in this video, I want to walk you through the hotel. I'm going to show you the grounds, show you the water around us. Uh, this place is absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to give you a full tour right now. But first, let's quickly back up uh, to how you get here and I'll, I'll share with you how we got here from the boat uh, when we first arrived. I really didn't know this, but you got to take a boat to get to the resort, Captain Hook Resort. And so we're in the mangroves right now. The boat is, has just come to, to pick us up. Oh, it's gorgeous. The water is so clear too. It was just a five minute boat ride to get here, uh, but this place is tucked away. There's a own, its own private beach here, and then uh, the water inlet goes down there, and you get dropped off. This is kind of maybe the, the restaurant area check-in. Oh wow, what an awesomely cool place. Oh, our room is up the hill a little ways. I think we have a, we don't have an ocean front room, but we have an ocean view room. No okay, way. beautiful way, right? Wow. Whoa. Nice, eh? Whoa, oh, there's a beach on this side too. <laughs> what do you need? Ah, chai, 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 cup. Oh, suai, cup. When it comes to nature and natural beauty, this is about as picturesque, as pristine as it gets. The resort occupies a t its entire peninsula. It's a rocky peninsula, it's a, it's a small peninsula. So they have rooms on either side of the peninsula. But not only do you have surrounding beaches, but they also occupy uh, an inlet of water which goes into the mangroves. And so over on this side is a beach, which actually you have to ride a kayak to get to that beach or you have to swim across the, the inlet of water. Uh, and then straight back here, that's where the water goes into the mangrove forest. Uh, and it, it's equally spectacular. This is kind of the communal area. This is where the boats land or the boats pier, where the boats dock, where you get off the boat to enter the resort. This is also the restaurant and the dining area where you can sit, where you can eat, where you can have a drink. So let's walk to the left-hand side of the resort, down through the mangrove area first. Uh, get a view of that side. Then we'll go to the other side for the, for the Cape view of the ocean and show you the swimming pool on that side. And then after that, I'll, show, I'll give you a full tour of our room. So you walk down this side, you get to some villas, uh, and then there's also some really, really cool bungalows that you can hang out in. This is kind of like a, a homemade beach here. Just, you could play in the sand here. Uh, and then you get to this wall, which uh, here's where the, the ocean, well, this is, this is where the ocean starts and where the inlet begins. And then it goes inland here into the mangrove forest. And here comes a boat, which is one of the, how you access the resort. There are some fantastic bungalows, wooden bungalows with thatch roofs over the, the mangrove trees that you can hang out in. You can have a massage. You can just come here to chill out and relax. I love this wood floor and just how cool is this place? I mean, you can just sit here and relax to the max. You've got the ocean breeze, but shaded by the mangroves. Uh, you can sit on the beautiful wood. You can jump in this hammock. Whoa. This is one of many, many ultra chill spots within this resort. And then when you're ready for a change of seating, you can come sit over here on this ledge overlooking the water. Let's continue.
We're getting a little bit of sunshine, but the sunshine has been off and on today. It's been drizzling, then sunny, then drizzling. Uh, that's okay with me though. This is where the wind starts to pick up. You might hear that in my microphone, but this is where you get to the rockier section uh, and where you get to, it's starting to get to the tip of the peninsula, the mini peninsula here. There's a bar on this side and there's some bar seating as well here and then some places to just sit and relax. Let's quickly move over here uh, through the sand. There's a, there's a swing over here on the ocean too. Got to do a little bit of rock hopping to get in here. Take off my sandals. And again, this is another amazing place just to enjoy the views, to relax. There's a swing here. <laughs> this is the main communal swimming pool. Uh, there's a kid pool there and then the main pool is kind of in an S shape and it backs up to right over there which is the, the communal dining meal section. And also the swimming pool, this is right on the tip of the cape, right on the, the end of the peninsula here. Uh, get onto the rocks and feel the water or jump in the water here if you really want to. But do be careful of the slippery rocks. Oh, hello, Micah and Yun. Oh, Micah. Oh, hello, Micah. <laughs> I was on my way back to the room, but Ying and Micah have woken up from their nap and they're now chilling on this couch. Okay, time out. We're gonna chill out and hang out for a little while. You walk through this area. This is the main lobby area, the area where you check in, and our room is up these stairs and kind of across the ridge. It's always good to get a little exercise, so every time we come up to our room, gotta hike up this flight of stairs and we have a view of the other side. And welcome to Mini Pool Villa number five. Okay, open this up. This is our private little villa. And yeah, you immediately enter into a lush garden scenery. They've done a great job with the landscape, the trees, the vines going up. There's a mini swimming pool here. It's kind of like jacuzzi style. It's like a dipping pool, uh, but it overlooks the beautiful ocean and the sea on this side. It's kind of it's kind of rocky. Uh, you can hear the the waves lapping against the rocks. There's a beach over on that side, but this is just this is just raw nature, and it's it's absolutely gorgeous. The clear turquoise water. There are some beach lounge chairs here and then this is the room this is the bungalow behind us it's almost kind of like log cabin style and there's an outdoor shower on this side now I'm gonna give you a full tour of our room welcome to our villa step inside the sliding glass wooden doors and right by the door you have this nice sofa bed relaxation Oh man, this has been the office here. This is where you can sit and hang out and work on your laptop. You can still see the sea view and the swimming pool outside and this is just comfortable. And when you get uh, tired of sitting, of course, you can kick back and relax. Okay. On this side of the room, we've stashed some of our stuff. Those are our bags. Micah's diapers are down there and they have a coffee and water station there too. The one slightly strange thing is that there's no fridge in this room, but for the Thai style room that we, or Thai style villa that we have, uh, this is what it means. It's, it's a wooden platform with two double beds and the mattresses sitting up here. Oh, oh yeah, I think it's fantastic. Uh, the beds are comfortable and I mean, having it on this platform, it kind of, it makes it nice and cozy, kind of like you're in an attic or a wood cabin. It's fancy, it's a high-end resort, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's not like overly elegant. It has a rustic charm to it, which I really like. All right, and the last part to show you is the bathroom, which is over on this side. Again, it sort of has that attic-like appearance to it with the, the slanted roof. In the back is the shower. I uh, got a nice, no complaints about the shower. The shower is fantastic. And then coming over here, this is the toilet. Wow, that's pretty refreshing. That's nice and cold. It's not very deep. I'm sitting up right now, uh, but it's just, it's fantastic. Overlooking the ocean, uh, kind of, if you're down here, it's an infinity edge, because then you can see the ocean uh, with the room in the background. Oh man, this is the this is the place to chill. So we're just gonna hang out here for the rest of the afternoon, and then tomorrow we have breakfast, which is included in our room show. So I'll show you breakfast. Ah, good.
Good morning, we had an amazing sleep and now we're here, it's a little before breakfast opens, so it's great. Uh, and we're ready for breakfast. Unfortunately, that is instant coffee, so not the best, but I do have real coffee back in the room, which I will drink right after breakfast. Because they have the full egg omelet station, they have the guai chop station, which are noodle rolls with pork belly and seafood, and then they have the whole buffet section here. I'll begin with the main course. Got a few things. Got some uh, some of that pineapple fried rice. Uh, there's some squid. There's some shrimp. And then I'll, this one is uh, fried with uh, salted fish as well. And then I'll get some of that, that fried rice on there. Yeah. And there's nothing better than waking up to chilies. Yeah, food here is really good. And I told her to mix everything in here, including some, some chili flakes. A clear chicken soup gengjud. Uh, with some Chinese celery in it. Next up for the much healthier plate of food, the vegetables, the, the pineapple, the watermelon. And they've cut the watermelon so it has a little bit of the rind on it, the shell, so that you can just use that as a handle. Breakfast was excellent. I'm now gonna jump in the kayak and go over to the beach. It's kind of challenging to vlog and hold the camera and paddle a kayak at the same time. The water is so clear. Uh, it's pretty calm. The waves are just lapping. But really, it's a, it's a private beach, kind of just like sand embankment in between the ocean and the, the river, the Klong, the mangroves. And then the hotel sits on that little peninsula on the rocks over there. Micah. Okay, now that's a good cup of coffee. And that completes this review of Captain Hook Resort. We spent two nights here and we thoroughly enjoyed our stay. Uh, what I, I like, really what I like is that it really focuses on the natural beauty. The beach is gorgeous, the scenery is gorgeous, the jungle is gorgeous, and they've done a good way at it of building the hotel into the nature, into the peninsula. A couple of quick things. I wish they would have had a fridge in the room. And also the internet here, it's pretty off and on. The internet's not, not very good. I'll have some info in the description box so you can check that out. Uh, but we paid exactly 6,400 baht per night. That's $204.48 per night. So it's, it's not a cheap place at all. Uh, but I mean, for this, I, th I, th I think it provides very good value for what you get here. This is a really exclusive private beach kind of resort. Uh, and with a swimming pool and a private room, I think, I think the value is, is very good. Now that's it for this review of Captain Hook Resort. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video. I'm gonna be publishing lots more hotel reviews, uh, living overseas reviews and um, other travel videos. So click subscribe now. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye from Kokkut.